Travis Wayne Goodzell. Get to do a later than normal video because I uh, saw the news from Fox 13 News Utah where Carrie Cronk is booted. And I guess she was morning, not evening, wasn't she? So I saw it late. Uh, but uh, an hour ago, a uh, biblical prophecy occurred from 80,000 years ago. It was just discovered last year by a Chinese uh, astronomer. It's designated as C 2023 A3, uh, and then his Chinese name Suk In Shan or Su Chin Chan, depending on whether the CH is a CH or a K. And, uh, and so it's normally just called Atlas. And uh, it was attacking the feet, or shall we say the heels of the church. And if you've been following, you know that all of the prophecies have to do with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Sorry if you don't believe it. it. Sucks to be your religion. The Mormons. The Mormons is the correct answer. And so, in Revelation chapter 12, we find out that it is the church. As uh, Joseph Smith had to clarify in the Joseph Smith translation. In verse seven, and the dragon prevailed not against Michael, neither the child nor the woman which was the church of God. Ta-da! Christ is the head of the church. Isn't that Ephesians? So very clear. Virgo, verse 1, woman clothed with the sun. It's not an actual woman floating around in outer space. It's Virgo. And that is a representation of the church. And so this comet, Atlas, is the fiery dart of the adversary attacking the heel of the church. But what's interesting is that Joseph Smith knew about this. And I've gone over this with you. There we go. <clears throat> In uh, August 1st or 2nd, because that's when the sign in the heavens was, it's recorded after the fact, because it says early in the month of August, 1830. And so I looked in the Urim and Thummim and saw that he was referring to August 1st into August 2nd. It's most likely the 1st of August. And he's talking with Newell K. Whitney, or not Newell K. Whitney, Newell Knight and his wife Sally Knight with Emma. 
and the occasion was Sally and Emma were to be confirmed as members of the church. Females. So he talks about the sacrament in section 27, in case I missed that, because my mind is, is uh, seeing lots of things to get out there. So I may be skipping stuff. So just understand section 27, and I've gone over this with you. I've explained. Joseph Smith corrected the name in verse 5 in his 1838 history of the very guy they're talking about here in section 27. <clears throat> What's planes going around today, tonight? And so, this also needs to be understood in its context. The second vision about the day that shall burn as an oven, and they that come shall burn them. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints attacking the Church of the Lamb. Church of the Devil, Church of the Lamb. There are only two churches, Mormons. You chose wrong. <clears throat> follow Roman Emperor Constantine with a Brighamite twist. He don't believe in the Jews. And so this Nephi, as it needs to be corrected, is the one who is the Christ of Mormons in the learning of the Jews for the latter days. And unto him you shall hearken, or you're going to be cut off, or precisely as it stands in our New Testament. Don't look it up, Mormons. Don't do it. It's not reverse psychology whatsoever to get you to look it up. Nope. Not at all. <clears throat> Utterly destroyed. So, fiery dart. Utterly destroyed, day that shall burn as an oven, they that come, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, shall burn you, Mormons. And so then Joseph Smith goes into talking about, which I think was from Ephesians Or Corinthians 15? No. Yeah, Ephesians 1. No. Who did these footnotes, bros? I don't, I, I warned you. You can tell the difference between Bruce R. McConkie's work in the footnotes and everyone else, including M. Russell Ballard. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> 15, maybe this will help us. Ephesians 6? There it is. Dear God, that was put in the wrong place. And so, yeah, put on the whole armor of God. And then above all, take upon taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye may be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. This is why I know the date. <laughs> because Joseph Smith gives it to us. Verse 17 of section 27, this very night, early in the month of August, 1830. 
taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. There's a shield in outer space just floating around there with the woman. <laughs> it's all true. <laughs> no! because that's closer to Canandaigua or Manchester I mean although I guess I well no that no mm, Sydney Rigdon's not in the church yet not yet I don't think no it's not he's later isn't he <clears throat> and so who then from Revelation 12, this is for those who have been following me, you'd know this answer, right? Who is the child born of Virgo? Jupiter. He's Nephi, who appeared to Joseph Smith in the second vision to correct Moroni in section 27, verse 5, for the keys of the stick of Ephraim being combined and made. Academia.edu. Done. And so, those of you who have been following me, what represents the religion as a celestial moving body, not the constellation Vir Virgo? The moon. Left eye of Horus. The Egyptian Christ. Sun, moon, religion, government. Seer, PTR. The moon is there in conjunction with Jupiter on that night. And it's right there at the shield above Sagittarius, who's got the whole armor of God as a horseman. You see why Joseph Smith used it for that night? See why he talked about it that night? Also that night, in Aquarius, the high priest constellation, you have one, two, three, four, five fiery darts. All shooting in the direction of Jupiter and the moon. Cool, huh? Church is so true as Jewish. Right, Mormons? He would never be deceived by false prophets. Never. <laughs> so, that's, that's pretty much it. So tonight, from the night sky so yeah Achilles you know Brad Pitt in Troy too bad Kwaku didn't watch it I guess it was rated R <laughs> is that why Kwaku didn't know that Troy had been found and assumed that the movie must have been a made-up story <laughs> Yep, rated R for graphic violence and some sexuality and Diane Kruger nudity. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, the few movies I've seen of hers out of all of them that she's done have been masterful. National Treasure, oh my god, I fell in love. I fell in love. <sighs> Did Bigfoot take it? 
I'm supposed to, something to pay attention to. <laughs> Do I look pregnant? <laughs> Is that Venus? Remember? It's you, Mormons. The great and abominable church. The inverted pentagram of Lucifer. Venus. Venus is the girl. She's being judged right now. Remember? Saturday was the Day of Atonement. Yom Kippur, Judgment Day. And you've been failing your judgment. Naughty, naughty. And so, with the fiery darts of the adversary, just uh, above, because, yeah, it'd be west, and so, yeah, it would be above Venus in the sky towards the north, uh, as it was an hour and a half ago. Before the sun sets, you wouldn't be able to see it. So it's too late now. Sucks to be me. But uh, I, it's heading right towards Mercury. Poor Trump. He's Mercury. I told you, if you'd been following me, when Hillary conceded the election, finally, Mercury was at the top of the scales of judgment. Trump became the president, fulfilling the Book of Mormon prophecy in 1 Nephi chapter 1, verse 4. You have to be following me. Can't come brand new thinking you know better. Thinking you can get angry with me and put a hate comment and a death threat and insult me. I had a person who called me a boomer. And it doesn't mean those from the, the baby boom generation, because I'm not, I'm a Gen Xer. It's been redefined by whatever generation is currently teenagers or The 90s, I think it was, wasn't it? What generation are those born in 1990s? Generation Y. So the Ys and the Zs for 2000s, I guess. And most likely is 2000s, because 24, yeah, it's you're most likely the Generation Zs, God, who are the dumbasses who have redefined things. Every generation thinks they're clever by changing the definitions of words and then insulting the people who knew the previous definitions that they had changed previously. When they were snot-nosed punks. <laughs> and so I also was able to confirm this. Because when Monson died, Revelation chapter 12, verse 4. Stars falling from the tail of Draco the Dragon for the quadranted meteor showers. Mars was now at the top of the scales of judgment. Guess who Nelson is? Hey, that's his baby name meaning. What a coinkadink. Cool. <sighs> Crap. It's getting to be 9 o'clock. It's already up to 20 minutes. So I think we're done. That's pretty much it. But don't be a dumbass, guys. Seriously. 
You're purposely trying to be anarchists and you don't care about the consequences until the consequences happen and then you don't like the consequences and you wish that the consequences didn't happen and you complain and you whine and you can cry and you get angry. Consequences. You know, Commander Adama told Starbuck, you must accept the consequences. Actually, I think he was telling somebody else. Either his son or... Um, um, the, the guy below him who's a drunk and his wife just showed up again and she's a scion. Spoiler alert. That... Uh, while in command, you have to make choices and you have to accept the actions that you make regardless of whether the consequences indicated it was a good or a bad choice. You've got to keep going. You're the commander. You're the one giving the orders. You don't have time to melt down in a mush pile of regret and remorse. So, yeah, it could have been Adama also, his son, Apollo, because he had uh, to take out the, the uh, Olympic that the Cylons had taken over and was using as a nuclear bomb. So, you know, we need to have babies. Classic line. Okay.